The osprey may not be a songbird, but is one of the most vocal raptor species. The population here in Ontario was nearly wiped out by the environmental contamination of DDT and other toxic chemicals in the 1960s and 70s, but has in recent years rebounded. These huge birds are found all over North America during migration and or breeding season. The osprey exclusively eats fish and will carry their catch back to the nest, even if the trip is miles in distance. Today I'm hiking along the Grand River and at Rim Park in Waterloo, Ontario. We're going to hear these osprey as well as over a dozen other bird species. My name is Rob and this is Songbirding. So we're at the Claude Dubrick Trailway at the Kaufman Flats. This is along the Grand River Trail, which is along the Grand River in Waterloo, Ontario. Got some chickadees. I was hearing some osprey calling, so we're gonna go towards the osprey. Goldfinch and Northern Flicker. Northern Flicker was making the Wicca Wicca call. And this Osprey is making a non stop. Making a non stop call. Also looking at an alder or a willow flycatcher. It's not singing, so I don't know which. We call that a trails flycatcher when you don't know. This osprey is non-stop calling. This might be a young one. There are two here. One's at a standing over a nest. The other standing on a tall dead tree, just on its own, but calling a lot. one that's calling a lot. I wonder if it's a fledgling and there's still another one at the nest maybe. It's being watched over. Oh, let me continue to the trail. It's an eastern wood pulley. Chickadees.
looking at a young Eastern Phoebe, but it's not saying much. I can see the Osprey from here too, not calling anymore. It's a goldfinch flying overhead. There's a robin. Very short song, Sparrow Song. You can see another osprey. American goldfinch flying over. Some people call that call potato chip, potato chip. They make that sound each time they flap their wings as they fly. There goes the robins. Song sparrow. Oh, yellow warbler, very briefly called. Some wax wings flying over. Great crest of flycatcher here. Song spirits. Oh, a tree full of vultures. Sunning themselves. Of course, vultures don't say a thing, so you're not going to hear that. But maybe I can get a picture or two here. Of, so we've got lots of wax wings here, cedar wax wings, they're fly catching over the river. They're not focalizing much though. Just a bit. I see some bank swallows coming through here too. They aren't saying much of anything though either. Some Canada goose. Looks like they've landed in the river. This is a grackle calling. There was a downy woodpecker. Chickadees everywhere here. These check check calls. Common grackle. Also some very quiet blue jays here.
the robin, American robin. Now a couple of robins came in. Here comes a robin, it's a very young one, all speckly. Unfortunately, a lot of airplanes here, too. That's a blue jay. Oh, we've got a couple of chickadees chasing each other. I've gone too far now. Okay, so that sharp call. That's a chipmunk. Not a bird. It's a chipmunk. Of course it stopped now. I wonder if that's why it's called a chipmunk or that chip call. Start to hear red Iverio. Now that the planes are gone, there's a really loud motorcycle. These urban forests can be a bit of a challenge for recording. Quietly hear a red-eyed vireo. I'm gonna try to go towards where he is, but maybe off trail. Blue jays. That's their typical J call. There's a fair number of them here. 
Sounds like the red eye vireo stopped. So, back to the river. That's an eastern kingbird calling. It's flying high above the river, catching flies, dragonflies usually. Very low flying vulture right here. I wonder if I could record his wing flaps. Don't think so. Not that close. Eastern Kingbird, two of them now. I don't know if you can still hear, but the Blue Jays are still calling. This time of year is always a bit different because we have all the breeding birds at least most of them still here. They don't vocalize as much. But there's a lot of insects that are now singing. They can drown things out a little bit too. Here's black capped chickadees. Let's see if these two vocalize at all. That was a downy woodpecker call. You can remember them by thinking downy descending. The call is a descending call, from higher pitch to lower pitch. Is a song sparrow? Oh, he's right in front of me. This is perfect. This guy's listening to the other calls of other birds and singing in response. We've got a belted kingfisher up ahead. That's an easy bird to hear, hard bird to photograph. This one is a uh, 
female Delta Kingfisher. They are one of the exceptions in the they're one of the exceptions in the bird world when it comes to females. They're a bit more vocal and they have more color. In this case an orange stripe on the front. The orange belt, actually. It's an American goldfinch. She's just sitting there. Usually these are very difficult to photograph. Usually don't sit this long. So I'm gonna give it a try, which might scare it off. Just taking a flight. Still around though. I'm gonna keep an eye on her. On down for a fish potentially. I did get a couple okay photos probably. She went down, I didn't see where she went though. Might have snuck off. So the other exception with the belted kingfisher is that typically a lot of these species are named based on a male plumage. The species is named based on a female plumage of the belt along the front. There's our wax wings. Perfect. a killdeer in the background. It's not the cedar wax wings. just as I go to leave, Osprey starts vocalizing. Proper Osprey calls. I think he or she is done now. Nope, there we go. These are loud birds because it, it's probably half a kilometer from me. Let's say a third of a mile. an airplane coming in, so it probably ends that. So we're at uh, Rim Park. This will be just very brief, just a few minutes. Let's see what we can get. A very loud morning dove. Going to head towards that. Got a couple have sparrows up ahead. So we're right in the middle of a farm in the middle of the park. Oh, there's a couple of house finches right here. You can hear an osprey calling in the background. Two Osprey now. It's a very hungry Osprey, probably. Juvenile.
see it flying too while calling. Quite high up. Coming up on uh, morning dove. Another call I don't recognize. I'm gonna head towards it. This morning dove is good and loud though. It's a morning dove and osprey here. That call. This osprey is very enthusiastic. Not sure if it's a juvenile or adult. I thought it was a hungry juvenile, but it could also be an adult leading juvenile around. We're trying to call one out to come off the nest. And this other call. Really not sure. See if I can get a different angle on it. It's hiding well in some willows. I can hear it, but I can't see it. There's one landed osprey and one in the air, calling at each other. I think there's at least a third on a nest over above a soccer field over there. It's a very unusual nest as it's sitting on top of the lights of a soccer field and there's soccer being played underneath it right now. So they are awful tolerant of people in that case. Okay, that other call was happening again. I don't know why I don't recognize it, but... While I look for that, you can hear all these osprey. And a robin and some barn swallows. Some tree swallows, too. Some goldfinches.
this mystery bird is eluding me. It doesn't want to vocalize enough for me to pinpoint where it is. It's loud enough to record though, which means I can post this on Zeno Canto and find out what people think it is. This mystery call I'm still not certain of, but my current theory is that it was a juvenile rose-breasted grosbeak. Songbirding Midsummer was recorded, engineered, narrated, and created by me, Rob Porter, with Creative Commons music from Alexander Nakarada. You can learn more at songbirding.com.